What do you think this guy is about to do? A. Steal. B. Greet. C. Sell his wares. If you chose A, you're wrong. But if you chose B, that answer is erroneous. What you're watching is the daily life of this orcas on the roads in Lagos and other parts in Nigeria. But this video is titled The Irony of Traffic in Nigeria. So, let's get straight into that. What you want to happen is not what someone else wants to happen. Let me explain. Every or most commuters on the road wants to get as early as possible to wherever they're going. But when there's a traffic jam, they get unhappy and most times end up getting late to the destination. But here goes something. This orcas daily pray for what the commuters pray against. Traffic. Why is that? Because that's the only time when they can easily and adequately sell their wares. They can be in groups, walk individually, walk in between cars, hold heavy wares for a long time and sometimes run maybe faster than those in bolts to sell their wares. This set of people show resilience to make a living despite living in a country filled with hardship and poverty. Some of the issues mentioned by one of the richest men in Africa stated in this video on my channel. They take the risk of selling while there's traffic, selling in between cars, which is dangerous. But let me show you a little bit of research. Did I say a little bit? Anyways, we'll see about that. Since 2003, the trading and legal market law banned street selling even though punishment of 6 months in prison and a fine of 90,000 naira was added. The law was momentarily policed. But what option do these people have when street hawking is their only source of livelihood? Fun fact, most of the 11 million micro-enterprises in Lagos, as estimated by the National Bureau of Statistics, rely on street selling as a source of income. But here's the major reason why the government wants to ban street hawking. Children under 16 and as young as 6 sell openly and widely throughout Nigeria, leaving them vulnerable to physical and sexual abuse. What do you think will be the age of this girl? Or this? Or this boy? Or this? Well, life happened to some and that's the reason why they're taking street hawking as their only source of survival. Yes, Bola Jimo and her 18 year old son selling their wares directly on the tracks, making a thousand naira per day if everything goes well. Doing this for over 20 years, her sons selling as street traders, weaving between lanes of traffic, selling to commuters who are stuck in traffic. And I'll leave you with words from her. I never wanted them to do it, but life happened that way. 